In a community that borders a lake, first responders need to be able to handle a variety of water-related emergencies at any time. The Flower Mound Fire Department has added a new skill with its flood and swift water rescue team. Flood water and swift water rescue operations go hand in hand. They're both high risk, low frequency events that, that we respond to. And these events range from a car stalled out on a roadway due to um, high, someone driving through high water or someone being swept into a creek uh, with limited access for us to, to, make a, to make a rescue. Being out on the water is nothing new for us. We've, we've had a fire boat on Grapevine Lake for 15 years or so. Um, and we've responded to boat accidents and disabled boats and medical emergencies on the lake. So this is just another service and another way we can provide for our citizens. With the launch of the program, the fire department needed extensive training to learn new equipment and techniques. There's a lot that goes into becoming certified for, for swift water uh, technician and also rescue boat operator. Uh, right now we're using Tarrant County College as our venue for for the training facility. It's about a week-long course that we're using um, and we're sending about eight to ten guys each year to get certified. And we currently have about 30 guys that are that are certified to be uh, swift water technicians. The equipment we use in swift water rescue all starts with personal protective equipment. This is, uh, this is our PFDs that we wear, our helmets. Uh, we have wetsuits and dry suits and specialized boots. So all this equipment is, is necessary, especially like in flood situations. This will protect us from any contaminants that we may come across in the, in the water. Also, we use a lot of rope rescue stuff. Um, everybody's proficient with, our, with the ropes. Some other equipment we utilize is our, our rescue boat here. It's an inflatable boat. This, uh, this gives us the capabilities to make more technical rescues in confined quarters such as up in the creek or in flood situations. This training and equipment has already been put to use, assisting multiple crews throughout the region. First and foremost, our water rescue team is here to protect the town of Flower Mound and its citizens. Uh, we're also available for any kind of regional response, even a state response if we're requested. Our team has responded to several calls in the last, last several years, um, including several calls in Denton County uh, and Argyle for flooding rescue situations. About a month or two ago, we responded to a, uh, a victim in the water that was unable to swim and somehow got on the other side of the creek channel and was stranded for about four to five hours, was hanging on a tree. Uh, we were able to use our inflatable boat to make a rescue. Without this boat, I'm not sure how we would have ever made access to him. And with the opening of fire station number seven in 2020, Flower Mound's flood and swift water operations will only continue to expand. When station seven opens, we'll be operating our swift water team out of that location. We'll be adding more personnel We'll be potentially adding more equipment and more specialized training to make our team grow and become more efficient. We never know what kind of conditions we're going to walk into during a water rescue. And there's always a potential of a rescue that needs to happen. And if we're not trained and we don't have the proper equipment, we'll not be able to do our job.